Hi everybody, um, this is going to be my review for Twilight and the Moon. I didn't get a chance to do these reviews when the movies came out because I became very, it became very busy for me here, you know, with school and all kinds of things. So now it's my chance to get it before I see Eclipse, which will be on Wednesday in about four minutes after when I'm making this video. <laughs> so let's start with Twilight and the Moon. What I like... Some of the things I liked was the narration with um, Bella, some of the, at the very beginning and towards the end of the film, you know, where they had, I like how they were able to get Kristen to do that. Uh, <coughs> sorry. The portrayal of the relationship between Charlie and Bella, it's like it is in the book, you know, very awkward, but they did still care about each other. The sets were very good. They're exactly like how you would imagine what Forks would look like, with the exception of probably Bella's house. Bella's house was definitely designed after what you read in the book. Um, the clothes, for the costumes, sorry, they were okay. The only problem I had with them was most of them, they had the same color pattern, you know, like blue and white and gray, and that was really it. And the prom dresses, I mean, that was the only time you actually saw a color, like, Jessica's prom dress was pink, you had a purple one with Angela, I think it was purple, or was it some other color? It was purple, something. Bella obviously wore blue, see, they had that blue in there, see, for some odd reason. That was one thing I didn't like. Um, another thing I didn't, I do like the first scene you saw with Jacob, even though that's not in the book. Um, I like, I like them including a little bit more Jacob in because he's a pretty important character and obviously they wanted to give Taylor Lautner a little bit more scenes too, but I did like that scene, that was cute. Uh, let's see. I do like the diner scenes you saw because, um, it kind of shows, you know, that Charlie doesn't really cook, cook food at all. He likes to eat out. Kind of shows how hard it is for Charlie to have Bella in, and also gives them time to be together, even though they don't talk throughout most of the dinner. And also, they have people there. I like how they have people there that remember Bella when she was a little girl, and they talk about memories and stuff. I thought that was really cute. Uh, let's see. The one, th the one thing that I did like was the eye shots with Edward. Um. The only problem, another thing I didn't like is how, with the murder scenes that they had in, I was like, okay, what, well, why is this here? What significance is it there for? You know? It was kind of stupid scenes like that. And another stupid scene that I didn't like was the, where they're climbing up the tree, Bell and Edward. I was like, you could have, you could have taken the time it was for those scenes at like a lunch date or something between Edward and Bella. Uh, let's see. I don't mind, you know, how in the movie, you know, skip certain things like, you know, that when Edward's gone or something, that's fine. But the whole timing was just off. It felt like Bella and Edward only knew each other for like a week, and then all that happened, and that was about it. Or it was several months, really. And another thing, they didn't have Ben, you know, Angela's boyfriend. They made Eric Angela's boyfriend. And they kind of put Ben's, like, you know, like, Ben, how Ben liked comic books and stuff like that. They gave that to Eric. Instead of just casting someone else's Ben. And then they, but then they added a friend of Charlie's. Oh, and they forgot Lauren, too. They combined Jessica and Lauren together, together. but they they were able to add a friend for Charlie that wasn't Harry or Billy or any anyone else. Don't know why they had to do that. Um, the visual effects were pretty bad, and the makeup. Holy, you know, I really do like the cast. That was that was probably my favorite thing out of all the movies because I do think they portray the characters very well, and they also, you know, some of them do look like the characters, some of them don't, I'm not gonna lie, but, you know, they were able to portray, you know, the characters pretty good. 
the one, why did I say the makeup looks bad? Look at Nikki Reed. You can, you can tell that she's covered in makeup. That's pretty bad. If you can do that. It has to look like they're naturally pale. You know? I mean, Nikki Reed, if you look at her in real life, she's very tan. And you can easily, you could have, you easily could tell she was covered in makeup in Twilight. Anyways, moving on to Mini Moon. For me, Chris Weiss was the better director in this one. You know, he didn't, you know, unlike Catherine, he didn't have any improv scenes and stuff. But the one thing he did do was there was a scene that, you know, Stephanie Meyer had said that she was like, oh, I kind of wanted this scene in the book. He had, I believe, written the scene up or had a, and ended up putting it back into the movie. And that scene was where Jacob climbs into Bella's room and, you know, tries to tell her, you know, you know this, I've told you this before, you know, remember, remember the story I told you on the beach kind of thing. That it was that scene. Um, and I really like how he, creative he was with the set designs, like he, with the Volturi one, he had these little details, like these little Latin sayings that were, one of my favorites was the one about art. I think it was, people die, but art lives on forever. Something along those lines. I didn't write it down. I should have written it down. It was a very cool one. That was my favorite one. And another thing I liked was, or another thing that was better than the first one was that Melissa Rosenberg, the screenplay writer, actually did a better job with this one. She made it at least closer to the book than Twilight was. There, there wasn't too much missing from it. And the... She got more of the book into it than the other one. There were, but there were some changes, like Bella and the Biker, you know. But I, I liked that idea, so that was okay, you know. I was fine with that, you know. Made it look like she was kind of going crazy a little bit more than the book did. Uh, and the Volturi fight, you know. I like how. Uh, actually, I think Chris White's came up with this. Um, I like how they were able to fit it in without making it the, making the Volturi have to kill Edward Bell and Alice. <laughs> they were able to make it work, which is good. So I really like that. And it was choreographed pretty well too. Um, let's see. Oh, the change, the big one. The idea of Bella not only hearing Edward but seeing him. I like that, you know, because it it's better for a movie for you us as an audience to be able to see. Edward instead of just hearing him, so that was good. Uh, the visual effects, definitely better in this one. I think that's one of the reasons why they picked Chris White as the director, because he does know more about visual effects than Catherine Hardwick did. You know, they, were def they definitely did better with the vampire ones. And then, of course, the wolves, you know, exactly how you imagine them in the book, even the fur color. You know, I'm glad they didn't change the wolves. Alright, now the costumes. Yay, the costumes were definitely better. More colors, more color variety. You know, definitely. And another thing I like to add, I like how Edward only wore one costume throughout the entire movie. Even when he, you know, the only time he changed was at the end. When they came back home from Italy. That was cool. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, DVD. Um, with the deleted scenes, there were only two deleted scenes that I liked. And one was the Victoria one, where she's in the car, and the other one was the dream Bella had. For Victoria, I liked that we got to see a little bit more of her, and, you know, even though she wasn't in the book that much, like that she got her own deleted scene. And of course, the dream, the dream was really weird and crazy, but I liked it. It was very interesting. This one was definitely better than the first one. So overall, Twilight, B+, New Moon, A. I have to wait and see how Eclipse is, but I definitely feel Eclipse is going to be the best film out of all. So it's, for me, it's probably going to be Eclipse, New Moon, and Twilight. Well, that's about it for today. Okay. Bye, everyone.